Now let us start study session 7 financial reporting and analysis. First reading is reading 22 which is financial statement analysis and introduction. In this LOS we will understand the rules of financial reporting and financial statement analysis, rule of key financial statements in evaluating company's performance and its financial position. We will also understand the importance of financial statement notes and the supplementary disclosures. Then we will look at various types of audits and their importance of internal control. We will look at other information sources and finally we will decide the steps in financial analysis framework. So let us start with the role of financial reporting in financial statement analysis. The role of financial reporting is to provide information about financial position, performance or any changes in financial position if there are any which is useful to a wide range of users in making economic decisions. So the main objective of financial reporting is to provide information. It does not include any analysis. It is just providing some information to various users which can use this information to make their economic decisions. So this information could be related to the financial position of the company, what kind of assets or liabilities the company has, what has been the performance of the company in previous period and what is the expected performance if there is any significant change in the financial position of the entity all this has to be reported and it is a part of financial reporting. If we look at the financial analysis it is the second part in which we evaluate securities acquisitions or the credit worthiness of the company. We evaluate firm's ability to earn profits and generate cash flows in future using financial statements. So the statements which are given as a part of financial reporting they are analyzed and based on that we evaluate value of the company, credit worthiness or the ability to earn profits. So now let us look at what are the important financial statements. Three most important financial statements are income statement, balance sheet and cash flow statement. So these are three important pillars of financial statements which provide the right picture of the company. First the income statement, it summarizes the events in the company over a financial period. So this is defined for a period, what kind of income the company generated, what were the expenses, what are the profits or losses that is why it is also called profit and loss p and l statement. So this is defined for a period whereas the balance sheet it shows the position of economy of, of a company at a point in time. So this is not defined for a period. So when we say the income statement for quarter 2 we cannot say the balance sheet for the quarter 2 we have to say balance sheet at the end of quarter 2 or on say 30th of June. So this is on a particular point in time. Now we are looking at what are the assets in the company, what are the liabilities, what is owner's equity, whether they are balancing. So assets are on one side, liabilities and the owner's equity are on the another side and they have to balance. That is why we call it as balance sheet. So any point in time these two sides should balance and they give us the right picture about the quality of assets and quality of liabilities of the company and its financial health. Since we follow accrual based accounting the income statement may not represent the cash flows. So we have a separate cash flow statement which provides the actual cash outflows and inflows. So basically it provides us the information from where the company is getting cash and from what are the places where company is deploying the cash. Another important 
financial statement is statement of changes in owner's equity. So if there is a change in owner's equity, an investment that has to be reported over a period. Fifth important financial statement is statement of comprehensive income. So this reports whether there is a change in the equity due to accumulated profits other than shareholders transaction because we know the shareholders transactions will not affect the wealth of the company or the equity. So when retained earnings become the part of equity there is a change in equity and it becomes part of statement of comprehensive income. Now let us look at some important parts of financial statements. Footnotes. So they are given at the bottom of a description. Footnotes are audited and they provide the following information. It could be a change in accounting methods. For example, in the case of inventory, it could be last in first out or first in last out or there could be a change in that. It might state any assumption or any estimate about a figure for which the exact numbers are not available. The footnotes sometimes provide information about any acquisitions made or any disposal of a part of business. Footnotes also provide information regarding contingencies in specific circumstances and legal proceedings if there are any. Footnotes also disclose if there are any benefits plan for the management or the employees or there are stock options. They also describe the significant customers and their relative importance. The footnotes also describe the segment data, the quarterly data and related party transactions if there are any. If there are transactions with a party related to management or director etc. that has to be documented in footnote. Then there are supplementary notes which need not be audited. They provide information regarding for example if there is an operating income by a region or a particular segment of the business. Since the PL statement cover the overall income of the company which is inclusive of all the segments. So we can provide the information separately in supplementary notes. They might also include the information regarding the reserve if it is an oil or gas company. Supplementary notes also provide information to the investors regarding the hedging activities of the company and investment in another financial instrument or derivatives etc. Another important part of financial statement is management discussion and analysis. This is mandatory under US GAAP that is generally accepted accounting principles and IFRS which is international financial reporting standards. So they include result from operations and business overview that basically guides us how the company is doing under current business situations and how it is expected to perform in near future. So we have an idea about the trends in the sales and expenses if the raw material cost is expected to go up or go down that might have an impact on the expenses. All these things have to be captured in management discussion and analysis. It also covers the capital resources from where we are going to fund our company. So the sources of short term and long term funds, liquidity situation, the trends in cash flows if we have positive cash flow or negative cash flow overall and the description about cash flow from operations financing or investment activities and the trends therein. The MDA also includes a discussion of critical accounting choices if we are deliberately making one particular choice in accounting then the description has to be given. The MDA also includes the effects of inflation, price changes or other uncertainties which can impact the future results. Then MDA also include information regarding discontinued operations 
regarding a part of the operation or a business segment or if there is an extraordinary item included in accounting or if there is any unusual or infrequent event for example sale of a part of asset etc and finally the MDA captures the past performances and the future stance of the company now let us move to the next topic which is auditor report under international standards accounting 2000 now let us look at the objectives and types of the audit audit report under international standard auditing 200 the objective of an audit of financial statement is to enable the auditor to express an opinion whether financial statements are prepared in all material respects in accordance with applicable financial reporting framework so basically the auditor has to provide an information that according to his opinion whether financial statements are prepared according to the financial reporting framework so for example if a firm is following US GAAP then the auditor has to express that the firm has been following US GAAP so it is an independent review of company's financial statements and the auditor give reasonable assurance that financial statements are free of material errors and they are following generally accepted principles and finally there could be three different kind of opinions which an auditor can give so there are three standard auditors opinion the first is unqualified which is a clear opinion that auditors are not specifying anything in general they are giving a clear opinion that company is free the statements are free of any material errors and all generally accepted principles are being followed here the second kind of opinion could be qualified where there are some exceptions to the accounting principles except them everything is fair and reasonable and third could be adverse opinion where the auditors are stating that statements are not presented fairly auditors also provide information on company's internal controls under US GAAP because the effective internal control of a company ensures that their financial reports are prepared efficiently and they are accurate so auditors provide information on internal controls as well now let us move to the next slide the other information sources except the financial statements there could be another source of information regarding the company there could be quarterly or semi-annual reports so which update the major financial statement and footnotes there could be SEC filings which are mandatory for publicly listed companies other source could be proxy statements which are issued when a shareholder vote is required so they contain information regarding board elections or management compensation stock options etc one source could be the corporate reports press release which are written by the management themselves and finally another important source of information could be economic industry data which is generally provided by trade journals reporting services or a few government agencies etc now let us move to the next slide so financial statement analysis framework so this framework include these steps the first and the most important step is the objective or purpose of the financial statement analysis and the context so in order to conduct a fair analysis we need to be very clear about the purpose and the context of analysis then accordingly we collect the data third step is to process the data fourth step is to analyze and interpret the data and then we make conclusions and recommendations and we update this analysis periodically as and when there is a change in the data we update the analysis and accordingly our conclusions or recommendations might change so these six steps are the major important ones in financial statement analysis framework 
Now that brings us to the end of the basics. Let us take a few questions here. 